Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here I have a very interesting question for you guys. We are going to solve sine of sine of x is equal to 1. It doesn't look so bad, huh? But it is. Not only it's bad, but it's also complex. You'll see. Anyway, though, let's see. First of all, of course, we have to look at sine of what will be 1. And of course, just to refer to the unit circle real quick, sine right here, the y value is equal to 1, so we have to have pi over 2, right? So that means the inside here has to be pi over 2. So let's just write that down right here. But yes, we have a small trouble right here already. Pi is about 3.14, divided by 2 is about 1.5. Sine, the biggest value you can get is 1. Yes. In order to solve this, we will have to go to a complex world. And yes, I have an equation, sine of z is equal to 2 already. Maybe you have seen that video. In that case, thank you so much. But I just want to look at how much worse this equation gets with you guys. So technically, I should not put down x because x is reserved for like real numbers usually, right? So I should put down z. So sine of sine of z. It's equal to 1. And yeah. Of course, this is <laughs> worse because pi over 2 is not the only place. It's not the only angle. It's the only place, but it's not the only angle that will make this uh, 1. You have to add 2 and pi. Yeah. Keep rotating on the stuff. So, first off, you have to solve infinitely many equations right here because n is an integer and for each of the infinitely many equations you get infinitely many complex solutions for that just imagine you have infinitely many complex solutions for this you have infinitely many complex number for that pretty bad but of course we're just going to uh, look at how the things are so technically we have to look at sine of z is equal to get a common denominator on your own you'll get 4n plus 1 over 2 and then pi right here, All right? So I'm just going to kind of, how should I say it? Um, kind of rewind how we do the sine of z is equal to 2. So let me just do it, but I will skip the Euler formula part, right? Let me just tell you guys, this right here is e to the i z minus e to the negative i z all over 2i and this right here is equal to that but this is a lot to write of course so I'm just going to put down a I'm just con going to call this a happy face I'm not going to draw fish fish is too hard to draw like every single time so I'm going to just call this to be a happy face All right hopefully guys are okay with that anyway so let's just go ahead and do it so we have e to the i z minus e to the negative i z is equal to happy face times 2i so we have 2 we have two happy face i, there we go. That will be much better. So let's see, two happy face i. And now we will have to multiply everybody by e to the i z, right? So we get this right here is just e to the i z, but square that, and then this times this is just going to be minus one, and this times this I'll bring to the other side. So let me write here as minus two happy face i, and with the e to the iz and then this times this is minus one that's equal to zero all right now we have a quadratic equation in terms of e to the iz so just like the google business we have e to the iz use the quadratic formula for this so we will have negative b which is negative this negative two happy face i and then i will have to plus or minus square root of happy face, so I have two, negative 2 happy face i and then square that and then minus 4 1 and negative 1, right? 1 and negative 1 so pretty good so far all over 2 times 1 so we have 2 times 1 right here technically, oh, I think this is okay yeah alright, so it looks yeah anyway now we have what we have e to the iz so let me just put this down here e to the iz is equal to that's two happy face i 
and then plus or minus square root of this is four happy face square i square i square is equal to negative one so we have negative right here and then we have four and then happy face square and then plus four yeah all over two two and then simplify this a little bit more so we have e to the i z is equal to two happy face i plus or minus factor out of four right and then this is actually we have to factor out negative one so we can put an i right here and then also the four so we have two i right here and then don't forget the square root and we have happy face square inside and then minus one all over two and of course cancel out the two and all the things so we have e to the i z is equal to factor out the i so we have i times happy face and uh, plus or minus square root of i didn't know if you use happy face to do math it's so much harder all right so that's what we have so far yeah now of course get the natural log on both sides usual business so here and let's cancel out so we have i z this is equal to ln i and then of course this is multiplied so we can just say adding ln of happy face plus or minus square root of happy face square minus one all right what's ln i well just do it real quick for you guys this is the part that you can get infinitely many situations for that right <laughs> anyway refer to the point right here this is i we need to have the distance which is one and then the angle is pi over two so you see i it's the same as e to the i pi over two but this is not the only angle just like that so we have to add two n pi right here all right so i'll put this right here so you can see i z is equal to ln of e to the i and get the common denominator again so we get 4n plus 1 over 2 and then pi yeah and then that thing so it's plus or minus no just plus and uh, we have ln of happy face plus or minus square root of happy face square minus one right just like that all right so now this and that cancel and uh, i will divide everybody by i so i will just put in blue to make it style out, stand out better so divide this guy by i divide this guy by i and divide this guy by i cancel this out cancel this out uh, that's going to be negative i right i don't like to be on the bottom the same old joke you guys heard that like 10 times already so yeah uh, are we good I, I think we are good so finally i'm going to replace the happy face with that oh by the way i technically cannot use n right here anymore because i have this i have used the n right here already and it's the same equation right here so technically i will have to replace the n with like somebody else let's say m so 2 pi 2 m pi well technically i should write down pi m sorry m Yeah, so finally, ladies and gentlemen, z equals, we have this guy, which is 4m plus 1 over 2 pi. Let me just write it down like this. What's the difference? Huh? No, nothing much. No. Ah, let me just do it again. 4 m plus 1 over 2 pi and then this right here again i times i is going to be negative 1 so we have negative and we have the i right here and then we have ln let me see if i can fit in everything happy face which is that we will have 4 n plus 1 over 2 uh, pi on the side right maybe a parentheses and then 
plus or minus square root of the happy face square, which is that, which is 4n plus 1 over 2 pi square, square, and then let's make the thing right here, a 4, and then minus 1. Wow, it fits. Can, let me see. Yes, this is it. And then, of course, somewhere we should indicate that n and m should be integers. Whew. Very nice. All right, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much my special for the um, uh, sign z is equal to 2. And thank you guys so much for that 1 million view for that video. So it's great. And hopefully this time, I am not making any more mistakes. And by the way, this right here is R E and this right here is I M. Do not put out the R, do not put on the C. If you know what I'm talking about, thank you so much. Alright, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. That's it.